Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review. This time we are reviewing the movie called Unforgotten, which was released in 1992. Gave this movie a rating of 10. It was viewed three different times in 03, 06, and in 2011. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cover real quick. To the right, it says uh, we have Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, and Richard Harris. And you can see them all there lined up. Uh, underneath we have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunset. Uh, I really, really like this cover because of that sunset. And then I believe it's somebody with a gun. Alright, Unforgiven is possibly the last true western in cinema history and is perfect for the perfect film for Clint Eastwood an ode to a dying genre Unforgiven is a poetic justice to dispel any of the misconceptions that numerous western movies have had established for so long I can see the blind as a bad boy as a substitute for the audience while the old timers while the old timers Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman and G. Hackman's characters show him what the life out of the West is truly like. There is a clear cut difference in what makes men stand apart from boys. I love the acting, the mood, the setting, and somberness of Unforgiven. What makes the film so great is how realistic the ambience feels while the mystery rides on William's mummy's mystique. There is a touch of weary sense of humor throughout and the final climax is a monster of a ride. Morgan Freeman comes once again proves that he makes a perfect supporting actor for Clint Eastwood as he does in Million Dollar Baby. Hyman's Wolvet has given a standout performance as the school kid a G. Hagman is just like he was in the French Connection but older. All in all, Forgiven is a genuine no picture, a picture neo nor Nearly the last true dozen men of Forgiven corrects many myths about Old West. The film boasts of an all star cast, including Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, and Gene Hackman. These are the reasons why I watch the film, which is a good, as good, good as it gets. More importantly, Clint begins with a resume of many westerns he has done, some of them quite hot, bad. So it's obvious that he thought out to make the best film as possible to wrap up the dying genre. And overrated performance that was never launched by anyone is by Hymans Wolve as a blind as a bat school field kid so it's too bad that he went empty for the awkward shows that year. All in all Unforgiven is a western New York neo New York masterpiece and represents the best of Clint Eastwood's imagery. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to email me. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.